this over here. Right. <laughs> Am I live yet? Yeah. Morning. We were a little worried today because we, uh, we weren't sure from the reservations whether we could handle everybody, but it looks to me like there may be a couple seats left up there. But I think next year we're going to have to uh, find a different spot because it looks to me like we're up about 600 this year from last year. And to be on the safe side, we will seek out a larger spot. Now, there are certain implications to that because as some of the more experienced of you know, a few years ago we were, uh, we were holding this meeting at the Joslin Museum, which is a temple of culture. And uh, we've now, of course, moved to uh, an old vaudeville theater. And the only place in town that can hold us next year, I think, is the Exarban Coliseum, where they have Kino and uh, racetrack. So we are sliding down the cultural chain just as just as Charlie predicted years ago. He, he saw all this coming. Uh, Charlie, I have some rather distressing news to report. The, there are always a few people that vote against everyone on the slate for directors, and there's maybe a dozen or so people do that. And then there are others that single shot it, and they pick out people to vote against. And this will come as news to Charlie. I haven't told him yet, but he is the only one among our candidates for directors that received no negative votes uh, this year. <laughs> hold it, hold it. No, no need to applaud. I tell you, when you lose out the title of Miss Congeniality to Charlie, you know you're in trouble. <laughs> Good morning. My name's Howard Bask. I'm up from Kansas City. And uh, I've got a theoretical value question for you. Uh, if you uh, were to buy a business and you bought it at its intrinsic value, what's the minimum after-tax free cash flow yield you'd need to get? Well, the, uh, uh, your question is if we were buying all of a business and we were buying it at what we thought was intrinsic value, what was the minimum? Correct. Present earning power or what the, pres the, the minimum discount rate of future streams? No, what's the uh, minimum? current after-tax uh, free cash flow yield you need to we, we could conceivably buy a business. I don't think we, 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 we would be likely to, but we could, we could conceivably buy a business that had no current after-tax uh, cash flow, but we would have to think it was, had a, a tremendous future. But the, we would not find, obviously, the, the, the current figures, particularly in the kind of businesses we buy, tend to be representative, we think, of what's ha going to happen in the future. But, but that would not necessarily have to be the case. Uh, uh, you can argue, <clears throat> for example, in buying stock at a time when it uh, was losing significant money. Uh, uh, we didn't expect it to continue to lose significant money. But, but if, we think, if we think the present value of the future earning power is attractive enough compared to the purchase price, we would not, we would not be we would not be uh, overwhelmed by what the first year's figure would be. Uh, Charlie, you want to add to that? Yeah, well, we don't care what we report in the first year or two of uh, after buying anything. Well, I would say that, that uh, in a world of 7% long-term bond rates that uh, we would certainly want to think we were discounting future after-tax streams of cash at, at, at at least a 10% rate. But that, that will depend on, on the certainty we feel about the business. The more certain that we feel about a business, uh, the closer we are willing to play it. We have to feel pretty certain about any business before we're even interested at all. But there, there's still degrees of, of certainty. And, and uh, uh, if we thought we were getting a, a stream of, of cash over the next 30 years that we felt extremely certain about, we would, we would, we would use a discount rate that would be somewhat, what, somewhat less than if, if it was one where we thought we might get some surprises in five or 10 years if a possibility existed. Charlie? Nothing to add. Okay.